welcome, welcome y'all, welcome to Cars, Golf, and Cigars, I'm your man Kadon Sterling, thank you so much for being here, and like I always tell y'all, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, if you enjoy what we do here, if you love cars, if you love cigars, if you love the whole mindset of the atmosphere of, of what golf, the fabulous sport of what golf brings to you, you're at the right place, and welcome, absolutely, we are going to... The 2022 New York City Auto Show. And I'm geeked. I'm so geeked about it because we haven't had an auto show in New York because of COVID for over two years. So this is the first one. So stick with me. Take a ride with me. And um, let's go have a damn good time today. All right. Welcome to the Jacob Javits Center. Welcome to Cars, Golf, and Cigars. I am your man, Kadon Sterling, and we are here. We haven't been here in, we haven't been here in over two years. So I'm so, so excited to be here. You know, so let's not waste a lot of time. Let me get y'all y'all footage, because I know y'all want to see what's going on. And um, let's get to it, man. Let's get to it. You gotta understand, we're in a whole different age right now when it comes to cars. Everything is going electric. So my main goal is try to get to as many manufacturers as possible to see what their electric cars look like. And I'm gonna take y'all with me. This lovely girl right here, this is called Deuce. It's British, it's a collaboration between the Brits and the Italians, right? So it's also made by the Williams family. And if y'all know the Williams family, you know they are big and legendary in Formula One racing. So that's why it looks the way it do. And that's all electric. And it's also $3 million. Let's keep going. Company here. I've been reading about for about two, three years, and I'm really happy they're here because I wanted to see the car for myself. And they're gonna be one of the people that's gonna actually 100% give all concept vehicles or EV vehicles a run for their money. They're called Vinfast. I believe they're from, um, uh, I believe they're Viet a Vietnamese company. And they're a huge company over there big they into everything that has to do with tech and now they finally into the car game let's go check them out All right, so let me give you a quick rundown on VinFast. It's gonna be a def definitely gonna be an EV vehicle to look out for, especially the SUVs. 
because they start around 55,000. See, the only thing that I have an issue with is the fact that they have a subscription when it comes to mileage, a subscription when it comes to battery life. And it's almost like the more you, don't, the less you use, the less you gotta pay, but you have to pay something a month um, to keep the car updated and vice versa and things like that. Now that, that's kind of a turn off to me. You know what I mean? I think that's a little bit of nickel and diamond on VinFast part, but very nice car. Let's keep it going. We're about to jump into the Subaru part of the part of the part of the car. So now I'm not a Subaru guy. I'm really not. But I will have to give it to them and say they have one of the best displays I've ever seen. We have the EV test track. So all the cars that are EV for this year, they bring them down here. And you get to test drive all of them, which is important because I have driven an EV before. It is a big difference. If you don't know, there is a big difference. There's no lag with an EV vehicle. It's all performance straight to the wheels. So the fact that it's that fast is mind blowing, you know, but it's not. It's actually engineering. You know what I'm saying? They're incredible. This is an EV year. That's what it's all about here at the car show. EV year right here. I know a while ago I did a whole episode on the Jeep Grand Wagoneer and it's right here so I got to show y'all because it's beautiful absolutely beautiful truck beautiful spec beautiful truck beautiful SUV Look how many screens it has. One, two, three screens in the front. That's the screen also in the passenger side. I'm predicting this is absolutely going to be the number one selling family SUV for 2022, 2023. It has to be. Three rows. Everything folds down. Screens in the back. It's just a beautiful truck, man. This is a beautiful, beautiful family truck. Or just a truck for yourself, even if you're single. This is what we call the winner circle right here. This is the winner circle right here. World performance car. Audi. We're a luxury car, without question. Mercedes, it's the best or nothing. You already know what it is. And that's the EV Mercedes right there. And believe it or not, Hyundai, Hyundai made it to the winner's circle with their EV. And how many awards did they get? Three. World Design of the Year, World Electric Vehicle of the Year, World Car of the Year. I better stop sleeping on Hyundai. We're about to leave, y'all. We're going to do an overview when we get back to the car. 
and we're going to talk about everything that we saw, everything that was here, everything that was not here. And we're going to do that with a cigar. So stick with me. Hey, what's happening? What's happening? Now we can get into my overview of the 2022 New York City Auto Show. Because I have some things to say. Before we close it out, I got some things to say. So we're going to get right into it. But we can't get into anything until we spark this up right here. So. Yep, there you go. All right. There you go. Sip this right here. Get a little blend with it. As some old cats would say, yeah, that's it right there. That's that taste right there. Uh huh. Cigar conversation so we can close this out. Now, I have my my reservations and I got my opinions so this is quickly what I am absolutely fond of for this auto show now you gotta understand something this is coming from the perspective of somebody who has been going to the auto show since I probably was 17 16 years old a long time ago we're not gonna make no old man jokes but a long time ago all right with my boys when we used to be so happy just to get the brochures and you know we had a bag of this and a bag of that and we can go home and we would fantasize about what kind of car we was going by so i've been going for a long time big big fan to the point where i started taking my daughter when she was younger and now my daughter has the car bug as well but what i will say i'm fond of this year is Technically speaking, it's moving towards the future of where all cars are going to get. This car, this auto show was absolutely 100% more geared towards EVs, which I figured it would be. We did speak about this. I figured it would be. It was definitely geared towards the electric vehicles. And it really, really was. I mean, anybody that was there, any manufacturer was there, was not just there to show off what their new designs are for next year, but really to let the world know they are stepping into the EV game. And they're going to be a part of it now. And then the so-called new kids on the block, like VinFast, you know, which is a big company in Vietnam. Not really big here, but really, really big company over there. And now they're going to be a big company over here as well. Um, and there's a lot. There's a lot of other cars, a lot of other car companies, manufacturers that was there that only are getting into EVs. They're only making EVs. They're not even making any fuel vehicles. But I have to be honest, I'm a little disappointed. Because for the most part, it wasn't packed with the other side of people that love cars. And I'm talking about the gearheads, I'm talking about the guys that love the supercars and the hypercars, okay? Where was Ferrari? Didn't see them out there. Lambo only really had a representation of two vehicles, not a whole manufactured lot of anything. Um, Porsche, I didn't really see Porsche there. Seen a Porsche vehicle, yes, you've seen it. But where was Porsche presence? I don't think they felt like it was necessary for them to actually be a part of this year's auto show. There was a lot of companies that were not there. And there's a lot of companies that's definitely struggling to stay in that top ranking potential of big, big companies. You know, you're always going to see Ford. You're always going to see Buick. I don't know why, but you're always going to see Buick. You know, you're always going to see Honda. You're always going to see Nissan. They're very consistent. They're never leaving the car show. They rely on those vehicles because those are basically America's daily drivers. But we have a whole other society to us. We have the old school, cool school car people. We have the superpower, super hyper cars. 
people. It's a community. Believe it or not, they only spend a million dollars at a time on vehicles. Those people, they didn't really have much representation this year at the auto show, which I was very surprised about because I was, I was looking for it, you know, looking for it. And I didn't see it. But my number one pick for vehicles would have to go to the Grand Wagoneer. I mean, it's an amazing SUV. It's an amazing SUV. It's going to be the family SUV, you know. But at the same time, the competition that it has along with the price-wise, if you're going to look towards Range Rover, which still outprices it, it does. But if you're going to spend 70 to 90 grand damn near on an SUV, why would you not, not go Range Rover? Or if you're going to do it as a long-term investment, why would you not get an EV? But it's a great, great truck. Great truck. So for me, closing this out, I'm just saying this right here. My main thing is, I didn't feel it was represented the way it should have been when it came to the bigger brands or more affluent brands. I really don't. And I think that's a shame because people want to see that. The little kids need to see those cars. That little boy, that little girl who grows up and says to themselves, that's going to be my car. I didn't see a lot of those there. And you know what I'm talking about. You know, when you're little, you be like, that's going to be my car. I didn't see the dream cars there. I seen regular vehicles, you know, but you go to the auto show because you want to see the dream cars, you know, and I didn't, I didn't get that from this one. So I'm a little disappointed, but either way, I thank y'all for watching. Remember, tell people about it. Cars, golf, and cigars. You know what I'm saying? Because word of mouth is how you build a brand. And I appreciate everybody helping me build my brand. Check for all the merchandise on the Etsy store. Contact me if you want me to review your vehicle. If you have a cigar lounge in your city that you want me to fly into so I can review that cigar lounge, email me. CarsGolfCigars at gmail.com. All right? Everything else will be in the description. I thank y'all so much for watching. I'm your man, Kadal Sterling. I'll see y'all in the next one.